Hello, how are we? I thought today we could go do some shopping, go do a little bit of a try on at COS and Uniqlo and I wanted to bring you along with me. I'm very curious to see what they've got in store at the moment as it's been a while since I've had a proper browse. So I've just been getting ready, just finished putting on my makeup and I'm just gonna throw on a jacket, grab my bag and then we're going to head out the door. This is gonna be in the same format as my last video like this and I'll be talking through the quality, the price tag, the sizing and fit and whether I think it's worth buying. So let's go shopping. Uniqlo and as always they have a really good selection of basics and lots of different colors so you're kind of spoiled for choice here. I went with the classic staples. We had to kick things off with a viral pleat front pants from Uniqlo. I have been meaning to buy a pair of these for so long so I made a beeline for them as soon as I stepped foot in the store. I actually tried them on in two colors so you'll get to see them both here. I really like the fit of these. I will say that if you are especially tall then these are going to come up quite short on you and you may like to try another brand but the price on them is really good it's $60 though it is a polyester and viscose blend with a little bit of elastane in them it does give them a real suiting feel and it means that they will be easy to care for I did size down I'm usually an AU8 and I'm wearing these in the extra small or 25 to 26 what I tried on were these wide leg jeans I'm usually a 26 and I decided to try these on in the 24 because I wanted them to be fitted at the waist and I'm glad I did this as I think otherwise they might have been a little bit too slouchy. I've tried them on before in the white and I love them then too. This denim is 100% cotton so that means it has no stretch however it is really quite soft and malleable. It's not very thin but it's not super thick and robust either like a really rigid jean. I don't think you can go wrong with a cotton shirt and there was a wide array of striped options. I tried on this white and navy one which almost comes off as charcoal here in the video. It's a nice lightweight but crisp cotton poplin with the contrast white buttons. Very classic, nothing to write home about but a good basic to have. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $50. I also tried on this pair of dark rinse jeans in what they're calling the slim straight fit. I thought that this would be a good option as a mum jean however the rise on them are just too low for me. I tried these on in the size 25 and I think $60 is a steal given how solid and robust these feel. Great if you can find them in your perfect fit. I have a shorter inseam so this is a great option for petites if you're looking for a full length jean. I love a ribbed knit skirt for the cooler months and I was really drawn to this beautiful chocolate brown color of the skirt. This one's actually cashmere and so it felt really quite luxurious on. However, I will say that it does really show up every single lump and bump. I tried this on in the size small to medium and it was really stretchy, had lots of give to it and you can get a real sense of the detail up close here. This retail for $200 so it was a bit of a splurge but being cashmere I think that the price is warranted. Last thing I tried on was this beige colored t-shirt from Uniqlo U. I believe this is a unisex style. This is really textured so it doesn't feel super smooth on the skin like a Supima cotton one would. I'm wearing the extra small here but I think the small would have been a better fit as you can see it comes up a little bit tight over my hips. Uniqlo tees in general are brilliant and the price is always really good too. I could have tried on so much more in COS than I took with me to the changing room. First thing that I decided to try was this little cardigan. I thought that the pockets on the front were really quite cute and I adore the tonal button detail. I think this really elevates a piece and makes it look and feel more expensive. This is made using responsible wool. I didn't find it itchy on the skin at all. I'd say it fits true to size for a boxy fit. I have on the size small and it retails for $150, which I think is fair. Obsessed doesn't even cut it when it comes to this jacket. I thought this was unbelievably chic. It is a cotton and polyester blend, primarily cotton, and it has this really weighty feel to it. You can tell it's more of a technical fabric. I'm wearing it here in the size small and I really like that crop length. I think it's very chic. And while I do wish that they used a different closure other than snap buttons, I appreciate that the exterior is a matte black to match the fabric. This retails for $150 and I would snap this up in a heartbeat. I think if you're looking for a really beautiful skirt for the office, this is a really lovely choice, especially because it is a predominantly wool piece. It feels really luxurious and really elevated and that side pleat detail feels a little bit more special than just wearing a basic pencil skirt. This one retails for $175. It fits true to size, so it fits a little bit lower on the waist or more of a mid-rise. I would say that this is fair given that it is more of a premium suit 
shooting style piece. I thought that this particular dress was really cute, almost like a boiled wool mini dress with these sculpted exaggerated sleeves and then the flared out skirt, kind of like a tennis dress but feels a little bit more special. The way it nips in at the waist, it just really snatches you in there. This is quite expensive at $250. It is a wool and lyocell blend, which is what gives it a really soft hand feel. I'd probably wait for this one to go on sale, but I think what you're really paying for here is the beautiful design. This is a dress I came into COS to try on and may look familiar to you, very reminiscent of the Prada nylon mini dress, but at a much more budget-friendly price point. I really like the wide square neckline, the fact that the pocket at the front is functional and that the back is actually a ponty fabric so it's not full nylon and it gives it a little bit of weight. This one retails for $150 and I think that that is passable. I'd maybe want to pay a little bit less but I do appreciate that COS do tend to use more premium fabrics. All right so I've just got it back from the shops and I thought we could do a final little debrief on the items that I tried on at Uniqlo and COS. So in COS um, I'm really thrilled I spotted that kind of Prada-esque dress so I could try it on because it had been on my mind and now I feel like that desire has been sated. It's cute dress but it's just not for me. I really like what I tried on in COS overall actually. I think that that little jacket was also quite Prada-esque. I feel like Zara do something really similar as well. Felt really high quality and I liked the uh, construction of it. It was quite substantial to hold as well, like very thick and it had the nice twill texture. And that wool dress with the V-neck and the sculpted sleeves, I thought that was really special too. And it felt like something that you would maybe get from a brand like Totem. I didn't end up buying anything from COS because it was really that uh, Prada-esque dress that I went on to try, but I did end up buying a few things from Uniqlo, not that I needed them. Now really I was only planning on getting one pair, but I loved both of the color options so much. And I feel like sleep deprivation has really been getting the better of me lately. So my intention really was to look for a creamy colored or off-white pleat front trouser like this that did have a straight leg that was full length for the autumn winter months because I've got something that is very spring summer appropriate but it just feels a little bit off when I pair it with those more kind of heavier woolen textures. I feel like this is really going to fill that gap in my wardrobe. The cut is really really classic. Um, I feel like the fit of them is really nice like Uniqlo a lot of their things fit on the larger side. I am a 26 in jeans and I have these in the waist 24 to 25 or the extra small. And I feel like it's a perfect fit. Um, they do have a little bit of give at the waistband as well. My only bugbear about these pants is that they are a polyester and viscose blend. They've got a bit of elastane too. But the reality is a trouser like this, it does end up feeling a little bit more like suiting. It gives it a nice drape. And I do find that it makes it a lot more practical as well from a wash, wear and tear perspective. So I'll, I'll show you a better look at yeah, how those fit. And I did also get the olive green, which I thought this color was really beautiful. And I have a pair of wool pants that are from Tibby, really similar in shade to this. So I'd say they've probably got a little bit more yellow in them, uh, but they're too big for me. And I feel like these might be a good replacement for those because I've been hanging on to them but I just never reach for them because of the way that they fit. I feel like where Uniqlo really shines is with their basics so I definitely focused on that this time around while I was browsing and everything is really good. Uh, I don't really have anything else to add beyond what I mentioned earlier but yeah I feel like the pleat front pants if you haven't already bought them they are just an absolute winner especially if you are more petite as well I feel like they're not going to overwhelm your frame and they're going to be the perfect floor length fit for you you might not need to get them tailored but they do offer a free in-house tailoring service which is really good anyway that is it from me I'm going to wrap things up here thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to know if you had a favorite piece that I tried on or is there something that I should have tried on but I didn't let me know down in the comment section below I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.